Welcome back to Miss USA, live from Shreveport, Bossier City, Louisiana. The top five contestants just matched wits in the high stakes question round. How did their answers affect the home vote? Take a look. These are your favorites. Yes, let's see if your votes will keep them in the running. It's time to reveal the top three. Here we go. The first woman to make it to the top three is... Nebraska! The next contestant who still has a chance to earn the title is... North Carolina! Three women are waiting to hear their name, but there's only one spot left. Our last finalist is... Nevada! Congratulations to our top three. And our finalists better be ready for anything because we're not slowing down. They're about to face another demanding challenge. That's right, it's the final word. This time, each finalist will be asked the exact same question. It's an opportunity for our final three to clearly define what sets them apart from their competitors. Each of you will have 30 seconds to deliver your final word. When your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Each of you will be wearing soundproof headphones so that you won't be able to hear your competitors' answers. It's time for the final word. Headphones on. Nebraska, please join us. Woohoo! All right, you ready? I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> Here's your question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I say, speak your voice. I don't know what march we're on our way to in this hypothetical situation, but no matter where you're going, whatever type of march it is, you're obviously on your way to that march because you care about that cause. So go speak to people when they have questions, communicate with them, listen to their views also. That is one thing in the United States that we really need to focus on, is listening to each other. Thank you, Nebraska. Thank you very much. Okay. Please remove North Carolina's headphones. North Carolina, please come join us. You ready? I am. I was just jamming out to Pitbull. <laughs> Here is your question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I would put on my sign, your body, your rights. As someone who was sexually assaulted, as someone who stood up and fought against my perpetrators, I am all about marching for your body, for your rights. Nobody ever has the opportunity or has the right to touch you, to drug you, to do anything, to sexually assault you, harass you. That's never acceptable. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Carolina. much, North Carolina. Okay, please remove Nevada's headphones. Hey, Nevada, please join us. Are you ready? So ready. All right, here's your final question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I put on my sign, let's work together to eliminate homelessness. Um, there are approximately 500,000 people suffering from the situation on a given night. And in my state of Nevada, we are ranked number three in the whole nation for having that much amount of homeless youth. 
I want to be an advocate and continue to raise awareness for the situation because if I experience this firsthand, I can use my platform to raise awareness for these youth to never give up on their dreams no matter your circumstance. Your past does not define your future. You can make anything happen if you believe because if I did, they can too. Absolutely. Thank you, Nevada. Wow. Vanessa, one tough question, three very different answers. That's right. There are so many factors to consider. I'm just glad we're not the ones that have to pick tonight's winner. That's Me what I'm too. But when we come back, our three finalists have one last chance to shine bright in the final look, and they will be sharing the stage with the one and only totally amazing, super legendary group, 98 Degrees. I love those guys. Me too. Love those guys. This is Miss USA live on Fox. she showed up. Emma, she's not your mom. Your daughter! Help me. 